Good morning. Welcome to Business English Paris. Today I'd like to talk about ethos and specifically uh, business ethos and what do you think is the defining uh, characteristic of your company's core values, the company you work for or the company you own. What are your what are the core values? Sort of what what does your company stand for? Um, today I did a word of the day um, ethos, and I talked about employee morale, for example. And I wondered what part of your the ethos of your company sort of goes to that issue. Is it a, a large part, or is it sort of medium or very very small? aspect of, of what your company stands for. I mean, how much do they care about employees, how employees are feeling, um, how not just their performance in terms of getting the work done for the company, but how are they feeling as they deliver that service and, and product? I mean, are they motivated? Are they happy? Are they proud to work for this company because they feel that this company fundamentally cares about them? Or is this just a job, something they do as a means to an end? to um, you know pay the rent and so I imagine if you and I were having a business English uh, discussion it would be my question I mean to define your company's ethos your business ethos um, what what do they fundamentally stand for and whether the morale of their employees um, is, is something that's high on the on the list of of their priorities or is it more of an afterthought something they think about when everything else is is, is done um, during the coronavirus um, pandemic which is the time that I'm making this video how would you define your, your company's reaction or response I mean did they fulfill the promise of their ethos of their their business core values, the core values of their business, I should say, in in terms of their employees in particular, were they there for their employees? Were they supportive? Did the employees sort of feel a, a part of a, a community that cared about them beyond the work? Or did this uh, situation expose flaws or frailties or inadequacies in your, in your company's um, actions it's in the way that it fulfills its ethos you know um, in the way that it does what it says its core values are right that's sort of my question for that particular word today is ethos and um, you know, just trying to get your response on, on your company, whether you are the owner or an, or you are an employee. So that's it for today. It's uh, three minutes and 22 seconds. I'm trying to keep my videos all under five minutes. It's very difficult to do, but I'm told that shorter videos are better in terms of um, YouTube. And um, so I'm trying to shorten my videos, but it's very, very challenging to do that anyway. If you are in the market for a business English coach, you'd like somebody to exchange ideas, practice your pronunciation, practice, um, you know, just, I don't know, just talking in English in a business context, I'd be happy to work with you. You can reach me at businessenglishparis.elg at gmail.com or you can send an SMS, uh, check on my blog, or this blog, no, this would be on YouTube, but the blog is businessenglishparis.blogspot.com for the moment. And um, I say for the moment because I may change over to WordPress or something, but you can check the blog for contact details as well. And yeah, you know, I'd love to you know, touch base with you and see whether we can work something out. And in the meantime, have a great day. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Be careful during this pandemic period of horror. God help us all. I want to do something like this, but, you know, I don't want to turn this into a religious thing and, and I'm not religious, but may God help us all with this. And um, yeah, 
until the next one. Okay, bye.